Well, hey, fuckers. Happy Sunday afternoon. I thought I'd jump on here and do a collective reading for you guys to, one, end the weekend, and B, start the new week and see what we're, you know, see what's in store for everyone. Um, also, I want to take a moment and touch base on a special request that I received via comment. Um, somebody very politely requested that I refrain from using the Lord's name in vain. And I just want to point out to you that I, it was very humbling to, to see that and, and to read that comment. And my apologies for anyone that is offended by that. Um, I completely understand. And I will make a conscientious effort to not use the Lord's name in vain. I shouldn't anyway. So I appreciate that. I love you guys. And I'm here for you. So. Here we go. Let's do this reading, okay? All right, let me shuffle these cards real quick. Just kind of concentrate on whatever it is that you want to know about what's coming up on this upcoming week, and then we'll see what happens. Now, remember, this is a collective reading, so it's not going to resonate with everybody, but if it's on your For You page, you may want to pay attention, you know, because... Take what resonates, leave what don't. And that's how it works, okay? All right, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so first one, oh, Wheel of Fortune, nice. What, okay, so we've got the Six of Pentacles, okay? And then, oh, the Six of Wands. The Two of Swords. The Four of Wands. Um, we got the Five of Swords, the Tower, Seven of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Ooh. All right. Let me see what I can make sense out of here. Okay, so we have someone, whoever it is in this collective, whoever you are, you got the wheel card, the wheel of fortune card. So it this card means there is a like a completion of a cycle, possible divine timing here is at work. Um, the wheels turning it in the right direction, so good karma is coming. So there is definitely good things here, and it's all in the matter of divine timing. So this was all supposed to happen, and it's leading you to a six of pentacles, which is someone who is going to aid you in this in, in bringing this good karma, this good fortune for you. Um, also, there is some public recognition here, some victory, some progress. So whoever this person that's going to aid you in this um, endeavor is definitely going to help you succeed. You're going to be publicly recognized. This has something to do with either your work or something else of a business venture that you might branch out to. However, I do see that there is some, some trouble making a decision in this. Um, like this person is whoever you are in this collective, you're struggling with this decision about a house. Okay. Um, it looks like it's, to me, you're trying to buy a house, possibly move your locations, but you're wondering, kind of mulling over that decision. And ultimately, this is going to lead you to the Five of Cups. Uh, the Five of Cups is someone who is just went through hell and back and is just tired, spent. The conflict is over, ready to move on. Um, and with the tower moment here, uh, yeah, a tower moment is a change in your physical realm. And it does seem to me like this is going to be a physical location change. Um, a new home that someone's mulling over decision over a conflict that's over now, but it was huge conflict. It could be a possibility of a relationship breaking up, a marriage breaking up, possibly something to do with a, a, a job or a business venture. Um, I do see hard work ahead uh, for you um, as well. And the chariot in, indicates to me with the chariot card, there is definitely forward movement. Um, it might be slow movement, but there's still determined determination here. There's still motivation to move forward with the chariot. Um, and it's going to take a lot of hard work to get there, whatever your goal is. Um, let's see what the Oracle cards have to say here. Uh, let's see. What's calling to me? What's calling to me? Hmm. 
I'm gonna use the Lovers Art Oracle. I just got these cards, so they're pretty cool. I like them. They're pretty simple. They're not, no, there's, there aren't any graphics on them, but the words are there. And the words are pretty significant, if you ask me. All right. All right, all right, all right. Matthew McConaughey. Mm. <laughs> anyway, that man is delicious. <laughs> the Lord put <laughs> extra work in that one, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Now that's a man you do not want to lose in any day. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's shuffle these cards real quick. These are just so hard to shuffle. Okay, that's obviously the first one. Okay, so with the Wheel of Fortune, um, this person is like, so this person feels so lucky to have you, okay, or to have you want them. They, they just feel so lucky, and they don't understand why you love them. They don't get it. They, they don't have any, like, self-love. And I do feel, I mean, I have, I feel like they have some self-love. They have some confidence. But I think it's more of an ego thing than anything else. Um, there is a sexual desire here. Uh, so someone is definitely going to bring you a sexual offer um, of a possible passionate beginning. I can't make you happy. So somebody also feels, like I said, their ego is a little bit, uh-huh, yeah, they have a little bit of an ego, and they, they're a little intimidated by your public recognition and success, so they don't feel like they can make you happy, they can provide, because you pretty much provide for yourself. Um, with the crossroads, ooh, <laughs> this person's struggling with the crossroads because there's drugs and alcohol involved here. Um, so that's making it very hard for this person to make a decision about this, this new home or this new location. Um, <laughs> yeah, see, this person thinks that you are so different than they are. Like you have different ways that you live, different values. Uh, life without you is hopeless, dark, and depressing, and I miss your light. But even though this person feels that you are, your values are different, your lifestyle is different, they fucking love the way you live your life. They admire it. They almost envy it. Like, they wish they could have that type of free, um, free feeling. Like, they could just be who they are and don't give a fuck what other people think. But I feel like this person is surrounded by people that... that they're worried about what they think. Um, and this this conflict has been really, this conflict I feel like has been a huge conflict that has come to an end uh, regarding you and how they feel about you and, and missing you and so forth. And they don't even know where to start with you. Like, this has been a tower moment for them. This has been almost like an upheaval, you know, a life-changing transformation for them. So this transformation could be in their physical realm or just in their inner self. I do feel like they have a lot of work to do ahead of them to, to accomplish this goal. Um, yeah, so, uh -huh. so they have to let you go to kind of, they had to kind of break free, detach themselves from you for a while so that they can find themselves again. Because like I said, they had no idea where, where to even start with their own self. Um, they have been kind of deluding themselves into thinking that you're just this horrible person that's not right for them. They're, you're too different. You're too weird. You're too unique. Nobody, and all of their friends and family are like, what, why are you even looking at that? Why, 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 why? Um, and the last one here is if I could go back in time, I would handle this differently. So they're, they're slowly but surely moving towards uh, to be able to correct whatever they did wrong and redo, you know, like they want to do over with you so that they can do it right this time. Stay tuned for part two. This is quite interesting.